Alex Lammett, we've got co-accused Will Stolp, newly elected MP Jeremy Buckingham here, and uh, Miguel behind the camera. Today yeah. we're down at uh, New South Wales Parliament House. Come through and let's see what Jeremy's been doing and what's going on. So today we're going to go give one of our prop cannabis plants that we've been using for the film and television productions to Jeremy Buckingham. He's the newly elected MP for legalised cannabis in New South Wales. He got elected this year, 2023. All of that content is up on our channel. He was kind enough to spend his first day in office, which happened to be 420, with us commandeering a fleet of armoured vehicles and uh, riding around Sydney streets. <laughs> declaring driving with THC shouldn't make you an enemy. Driving laws are obviously not the best. Will can tell you a bit more about that. He's going through it right now, and I think I see Miguel behind the camera, you are too. I guess it's a problem that a lot of Australians are suffering from, except for the Tasmanians. Driving with THC is different to driving under the influence of it. The, the, that debate's been and gone. No one said anywhere that we want people that are uh, unable to control a motor vehicle behind the wheel. We just basically need to be able to tell people that the test needs to be updated so you can you can tell if you've just smoked. Swerving yeah, on the road. A test that actually gauges how stoned you Well, are. there is none. That's not an option. So Tasmania's got it sorted without the presence of su such make-believe test. So we can do the same for the rest of mainland Australia. Miguel and I, we just got back from shooting in Melbourne with Foxtel. Uh, that'll be up on this channel next year. We had a whole crop of these uh, these fake plants in out in the bush, set up like an outdoor bush grow that the police stumbled across and raided. Jeremy just gave us a thumbs up. So we'll see him soon. It's not looking very fancy. They've got it under construction. Bloody hell. That's not what we want. Oh, I should probably give Jeremy a call. We're out the back of Parliament now. Mate, how are you? Hey, good, thanks. Um, we're just out the back now. Okay, I'll come out. Alright, no worries. I'll see you soon. Hey, uh, we're here to see MP Jeremy Buckingham. Sorry? Uh, we're here for MP Jeremy Buckingham. Uh, to visit his offices. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, what I'm going to get you to do yep. is call up facilities. I'll just wait for him to come out. Yeah, or if you want, you can wait for him to come out. How you going? Yeah, Jeremy from uh, Parliament. How you going? Hey, boys. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'll yep. sign them in. They never believe I'm an MP. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hop in. Yep. Yeah, so I'll look after them and sign them in and well, make sure they get into lots of trouble. Straight ahead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, Premier, no, not there. Well, I remember back when we were here with the hemp party, as they were formerly known, and we were protesting out the front with the big joint. Yeah, that's just calling that's so for funny. basically what we have now with you in here. Let's go. We'll put it, put it on here, and we'll take it to Parliament. <laughs> Looks a little yellow. I mean, needs a little bit of nitrogen, I reckon. <laughs> bit of MPK. All right. Here we go. The people's house, democracy. We should run the uh, date plant for actually for parliament. Just as one of her candidates. If we enrolled her <clears throat> in the electoral roll, we could actually probably run her for parliament. It's native. It's native. <laughs> All right, let's go. Is this us? Yeah, this is us. There we go. Now he's the queen bee. Yeah, it is, but don't tell anyone because uh, it's illegal. It's two and a half years jail, but um, and so I'd be disqualified from Parliament if I got caught with it. So don't tell anyone. Do I have to get approval? Yeah, for the public, for the joint areas. Do you? Yeah. Even as a member of Parliament. Yeah. To even take photos. Yeah. Photos are fine, but filming is not. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Who do I have to ask? Uh, so just uh, me or the usher, and we can get it signed up for you. Okay. Yeah. Can yeah. I have approval to film? Yeah. Great, so thank you. I'll put it in for you. Okay, thanks. No problem. What a legend. I oh, know, he said, yep, yeah, that's good. <laughs> he knows his stuff. 
He knows his nuts. Yeah, and he gave us permission. That's excellent. Yeah, that, was, that didn't take long. So here we are in New South Wales Parliament, the People's House, Democracy. He's uh, Libby. Uh, apparently, Charles, Chuck, is a big fan of Hooch. He doesn't mind growing a bit of organic ganja himself. So it's good to have uh, Queen Sativa here. Queen Victoria, true story, Queen Victoria had uh, tinctures of, of cannabis sativa. Yeah, she had like tummy pains and menstrual pains and all of that. She was prescribed medicinal cannabis. But don't tell anyone because it's medicinal. illegal. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> they're, 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 hey? It's real. Of course it's real. Exactly. Don't tell anyone. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. You'll just have to wait here, cannabis. The Macquarie Room, we can go in there. Let's take her there. That's a bit nice and official. There we go. It's very heavy for you to be carrying. Oh, no, it's, they're very delicate. It's very, very. Huh? No, that's a real one. This is yours. If you want the team to come down and help you move anything, we can do so, but otherwise. We can get a photo with the parliament up here. Uh, this, is, this is a committee room. This is where we have our uh, upper house inquiries and hearings and <laughs> Which seat did John Barrel Arrow sit in? I want to pretend, pretend to be a mafia boss. John was over here. This is where John came to be grilled. I want you to go downtown and I want you to roll out the shopkeeper. You know that friendly Jody's guy? I want him gone. I want him scrammed. We sit here and we say, order, order. You come to order. Mr. Stax, I'll find you in contempt. Remove him, two years jail. <laughs> They're really worried about the plastic plan in the parliament. What did they usually do here? Well, when you're sworn in here, you're like, when you're sworn into these committee hearings, if you like tell lies, yeah. you, um, you can get in some I serious catch. shit. You, you can eye cack, yeah. Like if a minister comes here or a public servant comes here and gives sworn testimony that's a lie, then big trouble. Can you just give us a little bit of background about how you came to love the cannabis plant and what kind of your journey towards being an advocate of this amazing God-given plant is? Yeah, when I was about 14, um, my uncle was growing a whole heap of weed and he just showed me he, his weed patch in Tasmania. And I just thought it was amazing. He had like little jiffy pots with little plants and he'd grown this amazing patch of uh, really beautiful dope plants in his veggie patch. And I was just intrigued by the plant. And you know, he clearly loved growing. He was always, you know, he was a massive gardener. And it was just always part of our culture, our community. Everyone grew a few dope plants, shared it, smoked a bit of weed. You know, no one was really chronic, but it was just part of the scene. I'd like to thank Miss Cannabis Sativa for appearing here at the uh, New South Wales Parliamentary Inquiry into weed. Mr. Tiva, how long have you been an illicit substance? 90 years, you say. And how do you feel about being treated in such a prejudicial way by the laws of New South Wales? How long have you been a dank bush? Thank you, Mr. Tiva. We appreciate you coming here to give testimony. We will endeavour to legalise you as soon as we possibly can. Thank you. Yeah! Uh, how are you going? <laughs> Thought it was what? How did you know? How did you know? <laughs> <It's from Nimbin. laughs> the guy goes, thought it was. <laughs> what we should do is um, we should actually register, you know, like the plant and to run in an election or two. Get someone to change their name, right, to Cannabis Sativa, and then they run in the election. And just use uh, photos uh, of And this. just use this. Yep. So Cannabis Sativa has arrived, and you turn up as Cannabis Sativa and you just put the plant there. And you go, <laughs> Cannabis Sativa, what's your view on this? Like, you could have it mic'd up. Right, with a little speaker on it, and the plant could speak. Where's a good spot right over there? There we go, just, we'll just leave it there. Nice. The good thing about being legalised cannabis is, you know, you can be creative. Like, life's too short. You got if you're not having fun, what are you doing? 
Here's the door. Holy <laughs> shit, that's amazing. Here's a nice political one. Founding farmer. Legalised marinara. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for John Barillaro? Yeah, that's right. That's John Barillaro. Right, right. John Barillaro. And they've got the uh, Elon Northern Lights. Louise. Oh, my goodness. Brought you a present. Oh, no. It's a Christmas tree. It's a Queen Sativa. So we've just taken a tour of the Parliament. We just went and saw Queen Elizabeth. We got pulled up. I have to send an email to the clerks. Can yeah. we do this really quick? Yeah. Requesting permission to film. Jeanette, could you do that straight away? Otherwise, um, I'll get sacked. Louise doesn't smoke much cannabis before she starts work. It's usually just midday. <laughs> we have just a few office bongs. No, no, I'm, I'm being mean. We're always very sober on the job. Louise, she keeps the office ticking over, don't you? Yeah. My name is William Verity. I'm a journalist by training, and I advise Jeremy on media, on social media. I write some of his speeches. It's going really well. I'm, I am going to stick my neck out and say that cannabis will be legalised within 18 months. We're getting a lot of support. Really, there's been no negatives to what we're asking for. is very modest. It's just a reflection of what's actually going on anyway. Oh, look, when I got this job, this is the first and probably the only job I've ever had in my life where the first thing I said was I've had a love affair with marijuana since I was 14 and the people giving me the job went, oh, yeah, well, that's really good. <laughs> I've used marijuana through my life. It's been nothing but positive for me. I use it in the same way as you have a glass of wine. All for it just, all just relaxing about it and getting away from this criminal model and getting into more of a health model, really. It's about just helping people kind of get through life in the best way they can. And cannabis is such an amazing plant. There's so many possibilities. We're really proud of all the cannabis art. And we're going to have a display at Parliament of all the art, of, you know, all the paraphernalia too, all the beautiful bongs, all the gear that comes with it, you know, the grinders and shakers and all the rest. So that's, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna bring that in. This is gonna be a temporary display or permanent? It'll be like there for two weeks in parliament. Exhibition. A exhibition. And then we're gonna take it to a, like a gallery and we'll do a fundraiser and all the rest that of it. That sounds amazing. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do that board. next year. Here's the balcony where we're gonna put it, I'll put it out here and hopefully she grows <laughs> nicely. Oh, the other thing I got in here is like, I always make sure when people come to my office, they get to see some hemp. So I've got, you know, some hemp string. These are hemp plastics, like that, like that. And this here is I always show people who come to my office is my medicine. <laughs> what is it? It's uh, Cosmos. It's an indica, it's pretty strong. There's my medicine. Let's put the plant on the veranda where it gets a nice... <laughs> do they ever do the sunlight? press conferences? This? Oh, that's what they do the press, they do all the press conferences. They're, they're gonna, like they stand there, they're gonna see it all the time. They're gonna look up and go, oh my God. And they're like, I'm gonna, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the spray bottle. And when Chris does the press conference, I go, morning Premier. We've been on camera, like 400 people right in this building right now talking about it, going, yeah. Buckingham's got a dope plan in there. Is it a real one? Isn't it? Who are they? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> See, they come and do the press conferences here. <laughs> and I'll, I'll get it in really good shape. I'll make you it. Do you want to wave to the Premier down there? Look, there's Chris. <laughs> people of Australia. What will happen is everyone will go, Oh, Jeremy's got a dope plan on his balcony. And then they'll go, it's a fake one. They're like, bro, a real one. <laughs> Just replace it. <laughs> they won't even know. They're like, they like, grow a real one. And they'll go, is it real? Isn't it real? I don't know. You know what? At Parliament, I don't think a parliamentarian can't be arrested at Parliament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's, there's some fucking old law that while I'm here, I can't be arrested. I can only be arrested when I leave. Right. So, so you can seek I refuge. Yeah, so I can just stay here like Julian Assange with my, with, my, with, my, with, my, with my weed. I've got a garden here, I've got some veg, I just live here. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> He's laughing his head off. What I like about you is how authentic you are. So this is very authentic. This is what I would have in my office if I was a member of parliament. I think that you're representing the people and I really respect it. 
I think you talk from the from your heart, and I think you talk off the cuff, and I think that you know Australian politics and politics worldwide needs more of that realism. Thanks, man. Because it really makes a difference. Maybe you should run for politics, mate. We're looking yeah, for candidates. I'm, I'm totally, totally down. So these are a few of the brands that help support us. I guess they're helping us with the court case yep. and um, all of this content that we put out. So that's Excellent. From seven ten at four twenty. Seven ten at four twenty. Um, I've got that. Awesome. Carries. Excellent. You were who are we hurting poster to stick Excellent. up. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. 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 I'll put this up on the front door. All right. Filthy. Who are we hurting? No one. And get with it. Now, the Australian Cannabis Summit have invited you to a roundtable luncheon. Awesome. Um, so that's occurring in October in uh, Brisbane. Okay. Um, I guess the details are there. And if you want to attend, feel free to RSVP. And I'll be um, there. We'll see you there. So that's from 420 Super Awesome! Um, awesome! So they're, that's they're, filthy! They're a local retail store up in uh, Toowoomba. Yeah, they're looking forward to the 24 elections next year in Queensland. Awesome! And they'll be 420! Keen to back it. So then we've got some stuff from a, a medicinal uh, clinic, Plant Med. Awesome! Um, so they're helping people get prescriptions and oh, uh, wow. get access to medicinal. These are, and it's, this is an Australian company, Cloud Vault. When you exhale your smoke, it'll yep. reduce odour and eliminate the vapour. Awesome. That'll come in very handy here at Parliament. <laughs> hey, it's early days. If they don't do it, I'll do it. I'll make this commitment. If we don't have it in three years' time, I'll smoke a joint in Parliament. You heard it here first. These are nice. What are these, grinder -roo? Yeah, this is another Australian company. Um, wow, Australian that's own. nice. Look at this. And so they're designing and innovating their own metal grinders. Awesome. Look at this. That's amazing. That's nicely made. Look at that. It's got a plectrum in it too. It's got everything. <laughs> and some of the last gifts awesome. are from Canal. Wow. Um, they make dry herb vaporizers. So wow. you've got your dosing capsules. You've got a glass adapter if you wanted to stick it onto a water pipe or a bong and filter it out after you vape so it'll go through the vapor then through the water filter amazing um, or you can just go straight through the dry herb vape oh man canal pro awesome fantastic i'll put that to good use look at the goodies man christmas yeah well these brands i guess they just want to show the support they're um yeah super happy with all the progress that's happened and you getting in and they just want to help any way they can oh that's fantastic like i really appreciate it it's really good to see that there's you know people producing Australian cannabis products. This is what politicians need to know. This is a big industry. It's gonna support manufacturing, tourism, uh, jobs all over the place. We've got hundreds of thousands of jobs in the States now. We could have that here in Australia. I reckon you should go to jail. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sure. hard make a man out of well, you. Well, I, I did 12 hours in Ramon. Will did six and he signed those shitty bail conditions and got out. You cried the whole time, <laughs> didn't you? No, he was he in his... He was in his bathroom. In Ramon in a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and the cop, oh, the the cop changed the bail conditions and I didn't even read the thing. I just wanted to get the fuck out of there. I should have read them. And he just fuck came out in his bathroom and was like... I'm not signing that. And the guy, the cop just went off and he was like, just wrote this, took me 20 minutes, get him over. He's like, I don't care. Like, Back to yourself. He's so angry. We got called for that on the 29th of August, so we'll see how that goes. If there's one thing yeah. I want to do is join the Legalised Cannabis Party. Google it, join, it's free. It makes a big deal. Um, we need to build the movement. We need people in the party and we need people helping us at election time, putting up posters, handing out how to vote. These next two state and federal elections, the next two cycles are absolutely critical. If we can get a couple more legalised cannabis people elected, if we can really capitalise on what is an incredible start to the, um, polit the political movement, then we'll get this done. And we'll get it done in the next couple of years. But join the party, get involved, hand out at elections. That's a really key thing for people to do. You can follow me on my socials, uh, Jeremy Buckingham on Facebook or Cannabis Jeremy on Instagram. What's happening next with the party is we, um, we are doing a massive push on roadside drug testing here in New South Wales and Victoria. We're bringing a bill on. It's the roadside drug testing bill. We are creating a medical exemption for medicinal cannabis patients like every other medicine there is out there. We want cannabis treated the same as every other. So I'm bringing that on next week. We're gonna have a debate 
and then I'm going to put some pressure on the Premier because the government said in their words, the laws were broken, they needed to be fixed <coughs> urgently. And so we agree, we want to get that done. That's our big push right now. <laughs> um, I think we're pretty much we done. All right. So that's Dominic Perrottet's car, as you can see. And um, is it the black one? Hold on, hold on. Let me get this. Yeah. As a good law-abiding member of society, obviously he's uh, parked a nose to wall, as all of the signage in Parliament says. While working with people such as Jeremy Buckingham and organisations such as the Legalised Cannabis Party to alleviate the added stresses caused by cannabis legislation, we want to emphasise an important message. While cannabis has the potential benefits for many individuals, it is crucial to remember that it may not be suitable for everyone. If you or someone you know is experiencing legislative issues or facing challenges related to cannabis use, there are resources available to help. We strongly encourage you to reach out and seek assistance from organisations such as Plant Med Cannabis Clinic via plantmed.net.au. Additionally, there is a dedicated drug helpline available 24-7 providing confidential and compassionate support to those in need. You can reach the drug helpline on 1800 250 015. Reach out to the compassionate and understanding professionals who are ready to lend a helping hand. More information will be available in the description below and don't forget to hit subscribe. Yeah, you guys can use it. Just use this footage, whatever you want. It's probably bad if you've got, like, me saying this. <laughs> <laughs>